So if you're like me and you like VR and you want to play PlayStation VR games on your PlayStation 5, you're going to need a camera adapter. Now, as of the filming of this video, the current PlayStation 5 camera does not support VR. So in order to play VR games on a PlayStation 5, you're going to need an adapter for your camera, your PlayStation 4 camera. So I have several things on pre-order for the PlayStation 5 because tomorrow is PlayStation 5 launch day at the time of filming this video. I have not ordered the camera because I don't feel that I need it. And if a new iteration of PlayStation VR comes out, it'll probably come with a PlayStation 5 camera. So I'm holding off on that. But in order to play those PlayStation 4 VR games on the PlayStation 5, you're going to need an adapter. Now, the adapter fortunately is free. You just have to sign up to get it. And I've already done that, and that's what's in this envelope here. So I just want to let you know what you get when you get this. This was, this showed up on my porch yesterday, and it came from Laredo, Texas. So I'm here in the United States. So it came from, uh, you know, somewhere in the United States, in this case, Laredo, Texas. I assume everybody who orders it is going to get the same. So uh, it just comes in this nondescript envelope. And this is the adapter itself. We're going to take a look at that in a second. Uh, it also comes with instructions. So let's put this to the side. And this is what you get with it. No boxing, nothing. It just says PlayStation camera adapter. It's in French and in English. And it pretty much, I would imagine, is very straightforward. You just plug this cord in between your camera and your PlayStation 5. And that's what it appears the instructions state in two different languages. And let's take a look at the adapter itself. So again, no box. It says content, one camera adapter, not for resale, made in China. So let's open this up. It's got a little piece of tape here. Let's get it out. Very straightforward adapter. So it's got USB on one side and then deep inside there is where you plug your camera in. I don't even know if you can see in there, but there you can see a little bit. That's where the plug is for the camera. Uh, it has a very short cord, probably about two inches, I would say, here. Uh, it has a little label on here that it's USB 3.0, as you can see. So you're going to plug that into one of the USB ports on the PlayStation 5. And then this rectangular box is PlayStation branded, as you can see. It's a matte black plastic with an embossed glossy PlayStation logo on it. Nothing on this side, nothing on this side. And then on the back, you have all the uh, important little information as regards to model number. Uh, it's CFI-ZAA1 and then all of the little logos and, and uh, certifications on the back. So a very basic adapter. I just so happen to have a PlayStation camera minus the stand. Here's the stand. But uh, I just have, happen to have this camera here handy. And I mean, it doesn't get much more straightforward than this. You just plug this straight in. And unfortunately, there is a specific way that you plug this in, and you just gotta make sure that uh, you have everything lined up in through here. So it looks like it's a pretty, you know, not, not too tight fit there, but uh, a pretty, you know, decent fit. Uh, slides in easily. Let's see if I put it in the wrong way. Okay, there's no real determining factor as to uh, guiding it in the proper way. Uh, obviously they made this prior to making this, so uh, they, you know, there's no way that they could have, you know, angled the plug any differently. So you just got to make sure that you're plugging it in correctly and just plug it in and it's flush right there. So really I can't do anything with this at this point because I don't have a PlayStation 5. However, I do have a PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 4 does have 
USB ports on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up my PlayStation 4 and see if it's going to recognize the camera with this adapter. Okay, so I plugged in the camera through the adapter into the front USB port and I'm going to go into settings here and we're going to go into devices and PlayStation camera. Adjust PlayStation camera. Let's hit that. Adjust the PlayStation camera so that your position can be correctly recognized, blah, blah, blah. The PlayStation camera is not connected. So this adapter, as I am not surprised by, this adapter doesn't work with the PlayStation 4 because the PlayStation 4 has a dedicated camera port on it. So I'm just going to have to wait to use the PlayStation camera adapter when I get my PlayStation 5 tomorrow. Hopefully everything goes as planned. So that's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, if you want to help out this channel, you can give me a thumbs up. You can share this video on your favorite social media, or you can actually join my Patreon, all of which is greatly appreciated. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.